Question number four from the sample assessment paper from the International A-Level P1. Um, here we have a question which is asking us about a straight line which has the equation y equals 4x plus c where c is a constant unknown. It's a tangent to the curve with the equation y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 3. Calculate the value of c. Okay, so we have a quadratic curve which has this type of shape. And you have y equals 4x plus c. It's a line which has a particular gradient. Gradient of 4 actually will be steeper than that. Okay, I'm just making a little sketch here so we can see, think of what's going on. And the tangent hits the curve. Okay, of course a tangent to a curve is, is a, a straight line which just touches the curve. It doesn't cut through the curve, it touches the curve at one point. Okay, so um, <clears throat> there are two ways actually we could tackle this question. One is, I know that um, this tangent, okay, I know its gradient is 4, okay, and this curve is only one place where its gradient will be 4 because it's a quadratic. Okay, you won't have a gradient of 4 except in one place, which is where the tangent hits it. The tangent hits it when it has the same gradient as it, okay? So, I could do this in this way. I could say, all right, I know y is equal to 2x squared plus 8x plus 3. And I can calculate from this the gradient function by differentiating it. So, dy dx equals, remember, multiply by the power. 2 times 2 is 4 and take 1 from the power. And here, remember, there's a power here of 1. Multiply by the power, gives you 8. Take 1 from the power, gives you x to the power of 0, which is, becomes just 1. So you've got 4x plus 8. And remember, constant, you know, you, when you um, differentiate, it becomes 0, because this is actually x to the power of 0 here. You multiply, it becomes 0. The whole thing becomes 0. Okay, so there we have the differential, the gradient function. So I know that at the point, okay, where they intersect, let's say P, where the, where the point where they where the, uh, the tangent hits the curve, I know that at that point the gradient of the curve is 4. So I know at the point P, which I've called, I've called it P, okay, the dy dx must be the same as the gradient of this line. The gradient of this line is y equals 4x plus c, which is in the form y equals mx plus c. So the gradient of this line is 4. So where this line hits the curve is where the gradient of the curve is 4. So we can say, all right, we know that if dy dx equals 4, then 4x plus 8 equals 4. So 4x is equal to eight, 4 minus 8, which is minus 4. So x equals minus 1. x equals minus 1. And so that's the x-coordinate of this point. <coughs> now the y-coordinate of this point can be found by putting x equals minus 1 back into the original equation. So you have y equals 2 times minus 1 squared plus 8 times minus 1 plus 3, which gives you 2 minus 8 minus, or plus 3, sorry. So that's going to be 5 minus 8, which is minus 3. Okay, so I know the coordinates of p minus 1 and minus 3. So now I can work out what the equation of the line is. Okay, I know that y equals 4x plus c. So I know the equation of the line is y equals 4x plus c. And I know it passes through the point which I've called p. Its coordinates are minus 1, minus 3. So if I substitute this x and y value into this equation, I will end up with <coughs> the value of c. And I can write down the equation of the line. Or in fact, we just have to find the value of c. Yeah, so to find the value of c, I'm going to put instead of y minus 3, instead of x minus 1, so I'll have minus 3 equals minus 4 plus c. So that means c is equal to minus 3 plus 4, which is 1. So c is equal to 1. That's one way of tackling this question. Okay, by using the fact that it's a quadratic, this is a quadratic and this is a straight line, and they'll only intersect in one place, and that place is when the gradient of this quadratic curve is going to be 4. Okay, because it has, has the same gradient of the tangent at the point where they intersect. Uh, a second way of answering this question is for us to to realize that if this is a tangent to this curve, it's only going to intersect it in one place. So there'll only be one solution, okay, there'll only be one solution when um, I solve these two equations simultaneously. So I have y equals 4x plus c, y equals 4x plus c, 
and we also have y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 3 so y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 3 I'm just showing you a different way now in case you prefer this way so to solve these simultaneously I can make the them equal to each other they're both equal to y so they're both equal to each other so I can say 2x squared plus 8x plus 3 <coughs> equals 4x plus c if we bring everything to one side 2x squared plus you got 8x minus 4x which is 4x and you got plus 3 minus c equals 0 so this equation has to have one solution if this is a tangent so if y equals if y equals 4x plus c is a tangent to the curve is a tangent therefore one solution so my handwriting is a bit bad here okay so if there's one solution to this quadratic equation then we know that b squared minus 4ac has to equal 0 so in this case we've got a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 3 minus c so we know b squared which is 4 squared minus 4 times a which is 4 times 2 times 3 minus c has to equal 0 so if I solve this equation I should find what c is so I've got 4 squared which is 16 minus and here I'm gonna get um, that's 4 times 2 which is 8 3 minus c yep sorry one second so I've got um, b squared 4 squared minus 4 times a times c equals 0 so it's 4 squared is 16 I've got 8 I have 8 times 3 minus c equals 0 so I have 16 minus 24 plus 8 c equals 0 now 16 minus 24 is minus 8 <coughs> plus 8 c equals 0 so we have 8 c is equal to 8 so c is equal to 8 divided by 8 which is 1 which is I think the same answer that we got here c is equal to 1 we see here same answer okay so two different ways to do this question mm, I'm not sure which is easier maybe this is a bit easier but they're both quite similar but there's two different ways to do this question if this was a cubic then this probably be a bit more complicated this way because there might be two places where then there would be two possible answers where they would have um, so and this is easier because it's a quadratic but both ways are perfectly fine okay so there we have the answer to question number four from the specimen or the sample assessment paper for P1.